Jingdezhen, a small city located in southern China. It's well known for its long porcelain making history. However, most people don't really know that it has a 1,700-year history. During the Jing period of the Northern Song Dynasty, Emperor Song Zhenzong decreed Changnan Zhen as the imperial porcelain making location and changed its name into Jingdezhen. Since then, porcelain from Jingdezhen has become an important commodity in China's international trade with Europe. The Wen Dynasty, established by Kublai Khan, helped the ceramic manufacturing industry in China reach its peak. By the 18th century, during the Qing Dynasty, a total of 100 million pieces of porcelain has been exported to Europe from Jingdezhen. Jingdezhen's porcelain is often quoted as being as white as a jade, as thin as a piece of paper, as pleasant as noon, and as bright as a mirror. There are four most representative porcelain are the blue flower, the linglong, the powder, and the color glaze. To this day, Jingdezhen still carries on the traditional porcelain craftsmanship. The whole city it's like a big factory. Everywhere you go, you can see all kinds of workshops and people making porcelain. But if you visit, you would never recognize its long history and cultural values. Like another small city, it has been through its ups and downs. It's curious how a city with a history of so much prosperity and cultural value would go through a decline. After the foundation of the People's Republic of China, the ceramic enterprise in Jingdezhen made a socialist transformation and founded the cooperation and public-private partnership which comprised of the dominating top 10 porcelain factories. With a production of 401 million pieces of porcelain daily, the porcelain such as the blue and white Chinese wutong tableware, the exquisite tableware from the Guangming factory, the glazed porcelain from the founding factory, and others, all produced by these top 10 China states run factories, have marvelously won many domestic and international awards. Before 1995, the total output value of the top 10 porcelain factories was over 400 million yuan. At that time, the total population of Jingdezhen accounted 3% of the population of Jiangxi province, and the tax pay reached 20% of that of the whole province, which was a very important industry basis then. However, since 1995, with the economic restructuring trend gathering momentum throughout China, there was hope that the state-owned enterprises would integrate it into the market economy. Under the decision of several leaders of Jingdezhen local government, Jingdezhen shut down all the state-owned porcelain factories including the top 10 porcelain factories to implement liquidation and reform. Overnight, it was almost unthinkable for a small city like Jingdezhen to lay off more than 60,000 workers. As a result of this reorganization of the state-owned enterprises, the medical and social insurance claims of the layoff workers loaded the local government with a 7 billion yuan debit. Oh 
So far, the ceramic industry in Jingdezhen has not been able to recover. Jingdezhen is a city that has suffered thousands of years of wind and rain. It is a city that just focuses on one activity. Despite today's desperation, the people. Who still live in Jingdezhen are still continuing to learn and inherit all that is left by its antiquity and tradition. Hopefully, this decline may only be just a brief moment in its long history before it bounces back again.